Hey Mo Crew. so I'm be doing a review on the camera that I've been using since I started my channel. Um, this camera is called the Spy Point XL HD 1080p 5 megapixel action hunting camera. A couple of complaints that I have um, regarding performance, but I'll get into that later. First, I want to go into the specifications. Um, what all this camera has and uh, how this might get your interest uh, as far as a hunting action camera. First I'd like to get into the specifications. Uh, this camera has a wide angle, um, films in either uh, 720p HD or 1080p HD and uh, has time lapse mode, photo mode, um, and just regular recording mode so um, there's quite a few options that this little camera has to offer um, I've been using this camera since December of last year um, haven't been disappointed using it at all a couple complaints that I have um, regarding performance but I'll get into that later first I want to go into the specifications um, what all this camera has and uh, how this might get your interest uh, as far as a hunting action camera. And then there's sound mode which allows you to, um, if you want like a recording status sound like where it starts recording it makes, it makes a beep. If you're a hunter like I am and I'm sure if you're watching my channel you're a hunter or an outdoorsman you don't want to scare your game away so you're gonna want to keep this setting off. See I have this thing and it makes no sound right here so yeah that's how, that's how you want it. <laughs> Um, and then there's the light bulb mode, which, uh, I don't know, this little lantern right here will blink when things are active. You don't want to give away your position by having anything strobing out in the woods. So, yeah, that's, that really covers it right there. And this trash bin right here um, allows you to clear the memory or the files that you have on your, um, on your camera. So, let me get into the accessories shutting down all right so as I mentioned before there's different mounting platforms I like whenever I'm just like recording like I am now like something close by and everything I just use this little platform thing right here so I can always unscrew this and change the foot or attach it to whatever accessory that I want so just for an example I can mount it to the archery accessory where this actually screws into the stabilizer platform of your bow, your compound bow, your traditional bow, or your recurve bow. Um, actually recurve is traditional, so yeah, just any of those bows you can uh, put that into your stabilizing spot right there. You can attach it this way. So unscrew this and attach it. This waterproof housing comes in handy. What it does is it gives you a really tight seal. If uh, The only time it's 100% waterproof is when this bad boy right here, this plug, is if you're planning on submerging your, your camera, which I've never done before, I don't really want to. Um, this plug right here can go inside this little hole. But at that point in time, you sacrifice having any sort of audio whatsoever because it just drowns it out. And the microphone won't be able to collect any data or hear anything so I mean I'm not a diver so I'm not gonna be using this thing for any, any underwater stuff so but if there is like a light rain or if it's like humid or really really cold or if I'm out in the woods and I don't want the lens to get scratched or this camera to get damaged I put it in this thing uh, works very well uh, this camera is pretty unique for as far as um, the stuff that it is automatically programmed into it. Uh, one thing that I noticed from using this thing outside in like hot weather, so like if there's very low wind or if it's 80 degrees or higher, um, I've noticed that this camera, whenever you take it back to review the footage and everything, it makes a lot of noise distortion. So and it doesn't work. The audio doesn't work. So um, that can be linked and blamed uh, by the 
um, heating element that this thing has. This camera is designed to have a heating element right here. It says hot right here. It's right by that micro SD card too. And there's also another microphone right here and lantern for showing you the status of your camera. Um, so this heating element right here allows your battery and your SD card and your camera to stay um, fully charged or as charged as it can be during cold weather. This is a cold weather camera. Um, I've ran into problems using it in hot weather and what happens is the noise gets distorted and uh, you get all sorts of like bleeping noises so maybe Spy Point might uh, work that kink out in this design but I doubt it. Um, this is a really really good option to have right here the heating element because it allows your camera to work in cold weather and normally most hunters are going out in cold weather so I mean yeah I'm not gonna go too much into that but you guys know what I mean like hunters they go out in cold weather and yeah it's no use redesigning something that works just fine um, it's not, it's not worth it. But I, if, if you're going to be using this thing in hot weather, I recommend um, doing periodic recordings. So don't overdo it. Don't make it run for so long, otherwise it's going to overheat. Um, this thing comes with an HDMI cable. I haven't had to use it yet, but you can plug it right into the US, USB port, which is right here, right above the microphone. Uh, yeah, you can plug that in right there and uh, review any of your footage on the on a TV so you can check out how good your HD works on an HD TV. Um, so I've already gone over the bow mount for archery and everything. Here's a scope mount for your rifle or you can attach it to the very top of your shotgun and this piece right here comes with an additional fitting so you can put that in there and uh, you'll have a certain tight fitting you can attach your camera to. So, um, As far as quality of this camera, I'd definitely rate it a 9 out of 10. Um, honestly, with the price that it was, I bought this thing uh, special ordered through Walmart for $122. Bucks. Um, I'm not going to buy anything else because this thing, if you, if you guys have been watching my channel, You'll see that all the uh, videos that I've recorded have been superior um, picture and superior audio. Um, this thing does not come with the ability to attach an external microphone, but what you do get for as far as a microphone, really, in my opinion, I've worked with GoPros before, uh, it roundhouse kicks GoPros right in the face. Um, GoPros, they have decent, they have like very good photo quality and video quality. But as far as audio and video quality, this one has the GoPro beat by, by far, and it's for a reasonable price. So um, there's different ways to um, attach your remote to your wrist. There's this way. So you can just let it dangle a little bit, and it's attached to your wrist. Or on a wristband, kind of like a watch like this. I prefer this because it's not going to bounce around and you're not going to fight the thing swinging and try reaching for it and everything so that's what I like about that all right as far as the remote goes um, the manufacturer doesn't give any specifications as to how far the max range is for it for you know like activating your camera to film and everything so um, based off my observation this thing doesn't film any further than um, 15 feet so it's a prox it's one that's for close proximity. If you want to film any further than that, that's when you should download that app for the uh, the camera to uh, be activated from your smartphone. And of course, it has a high speed um, USB cord. So whenever you attach it to the um, to the computer and everything, it works very very well, and uh, it doesn't sacrifice any of your uh, camera quality. So everything is just pretty, pretty linear when you work with it. Um, yeah, also, as you guys already see, it comes in this nice padded case. Take a peek right here. 
I have this one marked number two because it's my camera number two out of two. Comes with, this camera also comes with uh, a lens cloth. It's padded in there, so pretty user friendly. I really like this camera. Uh, if this any of these two break, I'm gonna get another one because I just like it that much. Um, downside, so I already mentioned that this thing overheats in the hot weather and everything because of the heating element. The heating element's meant for keeping the camera active during extreme cold, which I think that is a plus. I mean, like, you sacrifice a little bit, so it's a little bit of give and take. Um, this thing does, since it has a wide angle, um, that sacrifices its effectiveness as far as getting some decent distance footage. Um, when I was filming my turkey hunt in the spring, uh, this thing didn't do so well. Um, I had actually like circle on my video, if you guys have seen it, I had a circle where the turkey was and you could barely see it, it was just a couple pixels. This thing doesn't get distance very well, but I mean it gets very clear um, close footage, so I mean I can't complain. And what else? Uh, as far as um, filming at night, this thing's not classified as a nighttime friendly camera. This is a um, daytime camera. Any of the footage that you get in uh, like reduced vis visibility is going to be very low quality and uh, it's going to be kind of dark and pixelated. So, um, as you guys can see in my hunting video, again, like the the monster turkey that I shot, it's in that video, it's in my um, video library on my channel. So go ahead and check that out. Check out my channel. Um, be sure to subscribe. Um, I hope this video gives you kind of a good outlook on what the Spy Point XL 1080p has to offer. It's a very, very good camera. I like it. Um, in the future, uh, I'll probably get another one. So right now I have two that work. So. That's just in case, but I like filming two different angles uh, if I have the opportunity to. So I'm going to keep on doing that, and uh, you guys keep on doing what you do. Um, subscribe and be part of my mo crew, and uh, be sure to enjoy the outdoors.